the need to attune managerial practices to local cultures is specifically the theme of this course. I illustrated it first by the failure of Henry Ford, but then I used the Samba schools to explain it. I traced the evolution of Carnival from its early beginnings last century. I show what it was like in the middle of last century, and I point out to the role of the blocos. These are smaller groups of people enjoying Carnival. In a daring leap, I argue that a Samba school parade is made up of an agglomeration of blocos, which have surrendered their identity in favor of a larger organization, which is a Samba school. You can tell the simple tools at hand, the work that goes into the floats, as well as into the costumes, all done by hand. If a parade were seen as a pilgrimage, the beauty of the pilgrimage lies in the journey, not so much in reaching destination. But it is not only the costumes that have to be stitched together. The whole thing must be put together. This is when leadership comes into play. And it is a very stringent test of leadership because people moonlight at Samba schools. They earn their keep somewhere else during the day. Therefore, the leader must have an enormous capacity for persuasion, and I show them in action. Samba schools are very flat organizations. People are granted much autonomy and are coordinated at after-hour meetings. These meetings have about 300 people at Mocidade Alegre, more of them towards parade day. Of course, people have to be kept motivated over a year-long period. There are several elements to explain this. One of the most important is communal pride. These people do not want to be seen in their community as being the ones that let the team down. Also, an important dimension of motivation at a Samba school is the deferential treatment reserved for the old guard. Then uh, there are compensations like grand sounding titles distinctive shirts, name and rank embroidered on them. An important aspect of the Samba school is their great diversity. There are nurses and policemen, janitors, electricians, taxi drivers, school teachers as well. And leaders must learn to communicate with all in order to be able to provide feedback and lead. I believe that Brazil's cultural identity derives partly from the Mediterranean immigration but also from Southern Africa through the slaves. The first contributed with Christianity and the Africans with Ubuntu. Both emphasize communal values and interdependence. Whether through slavery or rural urban migrations, people have been on the move for generations. This severs effective links, which create a yearning for communal life and communal life they find at the Samba school, where the most common metaphor to describe a Samba school is family. This is like family. The lectures end with a suggestion that corporate life should develop a more familial atmosphere in order to generate a greater sense of belonging within the corporation. 